What is up, YouTubers? It's Tactical Painter back out in the shop. I know it's been a while since you've heard from me. It, uh, it's been busy. I ran a sale all through uh, the last couple of weeks leading up till the 4th of July. Independence Day was fantastic. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. Uh, we had family and friends over for the uh, in an Independence Day celebration. Lit off a bunch of fireworks. Bunch of people around us lit off a bunch of awesome illegal fireworks. We had a blast. All pun intended in that one. And uh, just had so much fun. But I ran a sale actually leading up to the 4th of July and it even included the 5th. In case you had too much fun, had too much to drink and forgot to get in on the sale, you can wake up with your hangover the next morning and still pick up those items on sale. I had 20% off on my patriotic theme blanks and 15% off all of my other blanks. So that sale is now closed. I will be running another sale in August, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Um, and we're gonna have some fun. So my birthday's in August, so I'm gonna be running my own birthday sale for you guys, and uh, you guys will be able to get in on some discounted pen blanks. So be sure to stay tuned. So currently, I'm in talks with uh, Bone Crusher 7 Studios. He runs an Instagram channel and he has been talking with me, wanting me to get some kitless pen blanks going. So him and I have been talking, we actually talked on the phone today, and I'm going to be looking into getting a pressure pot turned up on its side, and then getting a shelf put in there, so I can start making kitless pen blanks, because I've been getting a lot of interest. He's got like four people who have said, hey, I love your designs, but we'd love to see it in a kitless pen blank length, kitless pen blank length that is not as easy to say as you would think that it is and uh because they don't run like the five inches that we run for regular pen blanks they actually need like seven or eight inches because they're actually taking a single pen blank they're chopping it up they're adding their own threads they're making their own caps making their own bodies they're not using brass tubes or anything so they need a little added length in order to turn a kitless pen. They're really neat. You can check them out on Instagram, um, Bone Crusher 7 Studios, they're on Instagram. Or you can also check out, I think it's John Neal Pens um, on Instagram as well. He's doing a bunch of kitless stuff. And even actually, if you check out, I think it's RJB. RJB Wood Turners, I, I forget. His name, I'll throw it links down below. Um, he actually started doing kitless pens not too long ago, had a ton of fun with them. I'm not to that stage yet of doing kitless pens, but these guys are doing awesome kitless pens and they want to get some of my pen blanks. So I'm gonna be looking at doing some longer molds and setting up that pressure pot on its side so that I can make longer pen blanks uh, for kitless pens. So be sure to stay tuned for those. I'll be running those here probably in the next couple of months. If you've been paying attention, you know that I bought a micro jig. And let me tell you, I went through some of the stuff that you need to do in order to set up your micro jig. But I just want to show you this. I forgot to do one small step. And you can see right here, see that little step right there? <laughs> forgot to adjust to make sure that uh, my blade wasn't going to contact that center bar. And I just shaved like a 30 second off of my half inch center bar. So now it's no longer half inch. Now it's 31, 30 seconds of an inch. And, uh, but yeah, I forgot to check to make sure that it fit, but it did its job. It held the piece in place and just shaved a little bit off of the end. So always be sure to make sure that your blade will go right through that open slot and not actually contact your center bar and stuff. So I was actually gonna be really excited to introduce these pen blanks for you, but I only have two left because I put 10 online uh, during my Patriotics pen blank sale. And well, they're gone. <laughs> so I had one guy hop on, ordered all 10 that I had, and then these were the only two left that were a little bit too long to uh, sell because of the fact that they had too much white space in the middle. If you're doing a pen blank, or if you're doing a regular pen, you want to be able to see both pieces of wood at each end. And with how much white was in the middle of this one and the other one, they just wouldn't have worked because these are five and a quarter inches long, and then the middle section is like three to three and a half inches long, and most pens only need four inches, so that would not have exactly worked out. So I didn't sell them. I've still got them. I'll probably throw them 
in my um, grab bags. That way you, you guys can get something fun and cool in the grab bags. Uh, but yeah, I couldn't sell those as is because they just were not going to work out for that setup. But I am going to be doing more of these in the future because these are awesome and obviously you want them because one person buying all 10 at uh, $13 a piece and just selling out in you know a couple of days was pretty awesome. So I'm going to be doing more of these. I've already got some wood acquired. Um, I'm going to be dyeing uh, the wood red and blue as you can see, but they are really neat. They're really pretty. And then you can see in the middle there, I've got white pearl that is just gorgeous. It's all sorts of really beautiful white pearl swirl, just like I've got on the rope pen blanks. Also, I talked in the past about my rope pen blanks and doing up some of those uh, in smaller sizes of rope. And I'm happy to know and announce that I have done exactly that. So I now have American Patriot, uh, the, the patriotically bound, as I called it, with uh, four millimeter rope. And that's what this one is. This is four millimeter rope. So you can see they're quite a bit smaller. Let me grab an old one. So here's the original that had quarter inch sisal rope. And then these ones have four millimeter. And this is actually um, jute cord. So this is jute rope and it's still the same white pearl. But you can see that those rope pieces are quite a bit smaller. And if we look at the cross section of it, you can see there's a lot more in them compared to the sisal rope ones where you can only get stack like three or four high. With the jute rope, you can actually see I've got one, two, three, four, five layers of the jute cord. Maybe even more than that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can do five to six layers high on the jute cord, the four millimeter, as opposed to the quarter inch sisal, which I'll, you'll only get three because, well, quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, that's a three quarter inch blank right there. So four millimeter, you can get five to six pieces high, and so you can fit a lot more in, um, but I do have to, because I can fit more rope in, I did up it one extra dollar in order to account for the extra rope that's now inside of that blank because I do have to die stabilize all of that and then cast it into a blank so that little extra cost gets you a lot cooler of a blank than the quarter inch. The quarter inches are, are neat, they're awesome, they're beautiful. You can, when you turn them, you can really see the braided rope going through, but with the four millimeter, you'll get a lot more per blank. So go check those out, I've got them available. The four millimeter, I've only got just a few available right now, um, but I will be having more coming out in the future. And then I'm also gonna have three eighths inch sisal rope here really close in the near future. I've already got the rope die stabilized, red and blue. Uh, just need to cast it in the white pearl. Well, that's about it for tonight. I just wanted to get out here, let you know I'm still here. I've uh, just been really busy. I got, I think, nine orders out in one day, just the other day. I've had a lot of folks that got in on that blank sale. I had a ton of river table blanks that people ordered. I think I had a total of seven and then I'm doing an eighth one today uh, river table blanks that folks got in on that sale and then I had a whole bunch of uh, hybrid blanks and other stuff that sold too along with some pens and so it was a really good sale really appreciate you guys I've got an order coming up that I'm doing here right now where I'm actually making 12 pens I probably won't be videoing all of those um, but I've got one customer that's ordered 12 pens really excited to do those there are three flaming box elder burl three mother of pearl, three maple burl, and three coco bolo. So this is going to be a fun order. Uh, they're going to be long wood pen blanks, but I'll probably throw photos of them on Instagram as they go out. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be really exciting. Looking forward to it and uh, really happy that my customer um, wanted to get these. She's going to like a family reunion or something. She's going to give these out to all of her brothers, sisters, and cousins and things. So it's going to be fun. Please join me out in the shop here coming up real soon. I've got some videos that I'm going to be coming out. I'm not going to announce them just yet, but you guys can look forward to those here in the near future. Well, hey, look, it's actually a short video. So thanks so much for joining me out here in the shop this week. This is Tackle Painter signing out. Happy turning.